The Sunset CT has just finished, which also means it's the end of our Hawaii season. Mm. And what a Hawaii season it was. So let's, let's just kind of go back to when we first got here. It feels like a lifetime ago. It does. <laughs> it does feel like a long time. Can you even remember when that day was? I can't remember much. I definitely don't remember that. we were doing a lot of pre-pipe prep and one of the sessions that we had was with Parker, Cam uh, and Mason and one of the cool conversations we had with Mason was with the stepper that you've been working on and, and, and fine-tuning since you know our last few times in Hawaii if you want to quickly just touch on that and where we're at with that one. Well not the step up but the big wave board. Yeah same same. Yeah no it's not the same it's different. Well, it's stepping up from a step up. Oh, okay, yeah, it's a step up from a step up. Yeah, so <laughs> the map's gun. <laughs> Is that a map gun? It's a new map gun that's fully redesigned in Mel We've been working with Pete Mel for the last few years on the Mavs gun, and I had some ideas to improve that. Um, I want to change the outline significantly in the back half, change the outline in the nose. I want to decrease the nose rocker a little bit, increase the tail rocker. I decrease the V in the back half of the board. Uh, add a little more volume in the front one third and decrease the volume significantly in the back half. And all that just came from our previous trip over here in December. Mm -hmm. You know, there, there was a lot of big waves at that time and we were looking at different big wave boards and talking to a bunch of surfers. And so made those changes and got Mason Barnes on it, who's like so gnarly. That was that quote he said. That guy charges so heavy. Yeah, so I was asking him like, what about this wave? What about that wave? And he goes, well, once waves get over 60 feet, then <laughs> we're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> what do you mean when it gets over 60 feet? We fully knew what he was talking about. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, 60 feet. Oh, yeah, 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 I yeah, feel yeah, the same yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah, every day. But long story short, yeah, made a lot of improvements. Uh, so that'll be a fully redesigned Mavs gun for next year. He, he's saying the 9.0 I made him, he said it's the best 9.0 he's ridden. Wow. So that was... Uh, that was a good start. That was a good start to yeah. our trip. So and then, then we rolled straight from there into getting the new boards out of pipe mm, with so Emi and Baron and Maddie and Lacey and Mikey. Melissa. Yeah. yeah, so some of that like pre-pipe um, warm-up session, some of those days when it was like big and unruly, you know, the team were really stepping up and, and I know it's kind of like hindsight now, but wow, Baron had some standout moments early. Down days felt like they went for two months, yeah. but it was it was only like ten days or whatever. During that time, we had a some really good free surf and R and D sessions with the the ECT yeah. with uh, Emi and Baron, which was unreal to see those guys really break it down in, in real time, just straight up in front here at Rocky Point. Emi, watch this. Watch. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. Holy 
move it. Pulls it. Wow. Oh. Also, what was happening during that surf was the green board, if you want to kind of elaborate on, on the green oh, board. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was that was kind of a fun sort of side project while we are here in Hawaii. Chris Malloy is blowing me up and says, hey, we're like kind of doing this project, re-releasing Thicker Than Water and some other movies. And Thicker Than Water, this little green single fin that I shaped, was like a prominent part in the movie. And Chris and I were so young when we came up with that idea, man. We were in our early 20s and um, he was just like, I want to shape this weird single fin for everyone to ride. And it's pretty cool in the movie, like all the guys ride it, you know, Rob and Kelly and the Malloys and Shane Dorian and everyone's riding it, but it works so bad. It was so, it was so bad. You know the green board from Thicker Than Water that we just redid? Yeah. Uh, Dorian and Parker are gonna go ride it right now here. Out here? Yeah. Whew. It's all happening. Should we crack a beer? Sure. <laughs> Uh oh. Boof. During those down days, we had a really fun team bonding barbecue afternoon here out the front at Gas Chambers. You know, we all got together as a team and wrote a bunch of different boards and, you know, got to spend some time together. And, yeah. and those things always, I feel, go a really long way. Yeah. You know, especially when you're in the Hawaii season where you've got so many people all at one place at one time. Yeah. It's really easy to bring everyone together and have a bit of fun and, and kind of, you know, bond. We're down here, gas chambers, at the CI team house, and the whole team's here. We're all cruising. We're barbecuing, we got drinks, we got snacks, we got new boards, there's quivers everywhere. The whole team's on fire and we're hanging out. Sausage fest. He's got long feet. What about your size? wider feet. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh, <laughs> oh, who's got it here? So <laughs> Britt had one job, clean the grill. What do you do? Not clean the this grill. This is the result. <laughs> that 6 is ready. I'm She's ready for the Eddie. Eddie, Eddie ready. <laughs> Eddie ready with a 6 0. <laughs> Double ready. Oh Barbecue's going, everyone's here, we're about to start serving dinner. Flash, I can feel it. It's coming. That was just kind of like the lead up to pipe. There was still days before the pipe comp ran after that, but it was just a nice way to break up those down days and, uh, and make the most of the the time that we had to kill. Yeah, you know, for us, the team is so important. Like, that's such a huge part of what we do at CI. And my dad always taught me that the surfers are more important than the shaper. We, we just highly value them. Mm. And any time that we can get together with them and just kind of like build that relationship and express how much we value them, and it's fun. And then the more connected that I feel to the team riders, the better work that I do for them. Yeah. Like, I, I think that's human, right? Yeah. Like. What I'm doing, I'm doing it with my hands and my heart and my mind. So if I feel like a, a pretty good emotional bond to that person, I just put so much more work into it. And yeah. it just comes uh, from a deeper place in the heart. And I think that comes out in the board. So we value those times with the team and, and really try to lean into them and feeling pretty connected to the team and, and uh, a lot of good vibes. What do you reckon, bro? It's all happening.
Speaking of connections, a day or two later, Baron goes on to win. But not only does Baron win, we also had Emi who got fifth and Maddie got ninth. Yeah. So about three men that we have on tour, right. all three of them were in the top ten. Yeah. So that just goes to show the connection that you have with those guys, all the work that we do leading up to the events and watching it all pay off. You know, and, and watching Baron especially on that six three, that one off you made. Yeah, right. That he rode to the in all the way to the final. Yeah. And, you know, like, you couldn't paint a better picture of that final. In a dream scenario for Baron to win any final anywhere in the world, he kind of ticked all the boxes. For sure. I mean, I know it was a dream come true for Baron, yeah. without a question. And, and it was a dream come true for me as well. You know, I've, I've just wanted to um, see the boards perform, perform on that level and, and to feel that sense of accomplishment. and. It was special that I had made that one off board for Baron and that ended up being the one that he won on. Mm -hmm. And now we're now calling that one Goldie. Goldie. And uh, he said, you know, uh, people are given to exaggeration, <laughs> but he said it's the best board he's ever had at Pipe. And there's not a lot of people that have ridden more boards at Pipeline than Baron Mamiya. Mm -hmm. So I felt really personally gratified about that. He was stoked about it. And so right after the day after Pipe was done, got on the plane, went home to make some more. Yeah. And uh, now we've been testing them since we've been back with the down days between sunset and we found out that that board goes great from everything from 6.0 to 6.6. And we just talked to him today, he's filling his boards, his board bags from Portugal with the Goldies and he reckons they're game changers and, and, um, and uh, Golden. you just went home and made a couple more but you didn't just make a couple like you went home and how many boards did you make in like three days you shaped 30 boards that's <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's not a couple it's a fair swing yeah but that's that just shows the commitment to what you're doing to the team yeah. you know like you're willing to like just drop a, a little bit of a hat and go get it get the job done come straight back so the prep leaving into sunset, everyone, same thing. Everyone was ready again. We had all this great work done in the back end. And then unfortunately, as contests go sometimes, sunset really wasn't our event. We didn't have the same yeah. excess as what we had um, with pipe, which was a bummer, but you know, that's the way contests go. You kind of go enjoy the highs and then just accept the lows and learn from it and move on. Um, yeah, it is what it is. I mean, um, it wasn't my fault that all the boys bogged, but you know, it was... <laughs> Yeah, it's all there. Yeah, it's on them. You did your part. You <laughs> shaped 30. You what know, people are, people are so quick to blame the boards. If it's not the board, I'm sorry. It's all them. <laughs> it was always all them. Yeah, but that was a tough event for us. Other than Lakes, Lakes, you know, made a quarterfinal and, and did great. And mm -hmm. everyone was surfing well. It's just like the day that the boys all lost out in the round of 32, it was, it was tough out there. But no yeah. excuses. Like all those guys are really experienced out there. They all mm -hmm. should have been able to find ways. But that's the way it goes. That's contest. Think about our Hawaii season as a whole and how much time and effort we put into it leading up. I, I guess you can see it's pretty successful, you know? Like, yeah. we put a lot of time and effort into getting everyone where they need to be and, and we're walking away with it as a pipe master, you know? Yeah. Like, which is, that feels pretty special. Yeah. You know, like, unfortunately, Sunset, like you just said, wasn't the way that we planned for it, but I guess you gotta take the wins with the losses and 
all in all, I feel like it was a pretty successful wine season. Yeah, I think the goal for you and I was to advance the board designs and develop the team mm. and deepen those relationships, mm. you know, and make the team feel supported so they could perform their best. So I, I think that's what we did. I think we accomplished those things, put in the hard work, and now, um, you know, go home for a few days, go to Portugal, mm -hmm. and you'll head to Australia to meet your family. You haven't seen your family in over a month. Yeah. Yep. So you'll go there and then you'll cover Bells and then we'll meet together again in Margaret's. Okay. Well, everyone, stay tuned. We got more Field Notes coming. It's going to be sick. <laughs> <laughs>